Hi guys, this is going to be the tutorial that's going to show you how to make the, uh, sometimes it's called moss stitch, but it's also called the crunch stitch. To do this stitch, you can use any size yarn and whatever hook size that that yarn recommends. I'm using worsted weight yarn, which is 4 ply for the US, 10 ply for Australia, and I'm using a 5 millimeter hook or size H hook for the US. The multiples of the stitch is two plus one. And what that means is that you're gonna be chaining in sets of two, 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 until you've reached your desired width, and then you'll chain one more and you're ready to start row one. Okay, I've got my multiples of two, so I wanna chain one more, and I'm ready to start row one. For row one, you want a half double crochet in the second chain from the hook. So one, two, in the second chain here, to, to do a half double crochet, you'll yarn over, go into the stitch, pull up a loop, and then you'll pull through all three loops. The very next stitch, you'll want to do a slip stitch. So you insert your hook, pull the loop completely through your stitch and your loop that you had on your hook. Then you'll repeat this for the row. You'll do a half double crochet, and then the next will be a slip stitch. Half double crochet, and then a slip stitch. And you wanna repeat this all the way down your row. And I'm just ending my row here with a slip stitch. Whatever your first stitch is, which remember our very first stitch was a half double crochet, means that we'll end with the other stitch, which is a slip stitch. So you should begin with the, and end with different stitches. If you started with a slip stitch, then your very last stitch will be half double crochet. So for row two, you wanna chain one and turn. Now, the very last stitch of our row was a slip stitch. So the very first row, I mean the very first stitch of your row should be the opposite which would be a half double crochet, because we're only doing half double crochets and slip stitch for this whole um, uh, stitch pattern. So because we did a slip stitch last row, our first stitch will be a half double crochet. You always want to be working the opposite of what you did the previous row. So don't work a slip stitch in a slip stitch. Only work a half double crochet in a slip stitch. Don't work a half double crochet in a half double crochet. Only work a slip stitch in a half double crochet. It's only going to be the opposite. So this next one, which is which was our half double crochet in the previous row, we're going to do a slip stitch. And be very careful that you don't pick up this little stitch that's here in front, because this is what makes the look of the moss stitch. So make sure you're only going through the two loops of the stitch. So we just did a half double crochet, I mean a slip stitch, so now we're gonna do a half double crochet. And then we're gonna do a slip stitch. Then keep repeating that over and over again. Half double crochet, slip stitch. Being sure that you're going under the correct two loops of the stitch and not incorporating this front stitch that gets created every time you do a slip stitch. So half double crochet, slip stitch. It's very simple, just take your time, make sure that you always go under both loops of the correct stitch. You're not gonna be going under only one loop. You'll be going under both loops of the stitch. I know uh, this part up front was confusing people in the last video that I did. They thought maybe I was only going through one of the loops. But no, I am going through both loops of the stitch. So we started our row with a half double crochet, so here we are again ending with a slip stitch. And that's row two. For row three, chain one turn. We ended with a half double crochet, so we'll begin our row this time with a slip stitch, which means our very last stitch of the row should be a half double crochet. So we did our slip stitch, so the next stitch is going to be a half double crochet. And then again, take your time, making sure you're going under both loops of the stitch and not underneath that 
front stitch here. And it's pretty simple. You're just going to have to be mindful. Once it gets going and you can see the pattern really well, it'll be a lot easier to know what the stitch looks like. Slip stitch and then again I'm ending with a half double crochet in the last stitch. Then all you do to start your next row is chain one. We ended on a half double crochet. Again, if you can start to see the V here, this time it'll be a slip stitch and then a half double crochet. So the V this time, if you can see the V, will be the opposite this time. This time the first stitch will be a slip stitch, and then the second one will be half double crochet. So that's it, that's pretty much the whole stitch itself. And it starts to form up, as you can see, pretty quickly. Those lines that go through it on the top that kind of, I think, especially if you see it in this gray, kind of reminds me of like that metallic. I've seen metal that look, that had the similar look to it. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to like and share this video. It helps me out so much. Also, if you want to be notified whenever I release a new tutorial, you can go to my main YouTube page and right next to the subscribe button, hit that little bell and it'll always notify you whenever I release a new video. Um, if you're wanting to know what kind of hook I'm using here, I'm using a furls wooden hook. You can find the link down below this video. I recommend if you're going to get one that you order it with an extended hook. If not, you're only going to get half the size. Also, uh, have a, a Facebook group called Crochet for the Masses. You can find that link down below the video as well. Uh, we share uh, links to free patterns, pictures of the projects we're working on, and you can also go there and ask questions. It's a, it's a nice place. So that's it, guys. Thank you so very much for watching.